Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Yesterday I turned the boat at Napton Junction and moored up here where I am now shortly afterwards. Having turned the boat, it means I'm making my way back to Yelvatov Marina, my home mooring. I'm not rushing to do that. I'm just gonna take my time not really sure what my plan is for today actually. I'll be going into Braunston, whether I'll stop there or carry on and go through the locks today, I haven't yet decided. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing a lot of filming on the return journey, although I do have cameras at the ready in case there's anything of interest that happens or to be seen or whatever. So it's good to have you along with me. Enjoy the journey. Hi, and thanks for joining me. It's a lovely sunny morning, and I'm just getting underway again. I don't believe any rain is forecast for today, which is good. I'm not rushed, I'm just going to have a gentle cruise. As I said earlier, I won't be doing a great deal of filming on the way back, certainly not on the cruising aspect. But uh, I often change my mind, so <laughs> who knows what might happen. Using my Nicholson's Waterways Guide number one, I'm going to explain the extent of today's journey. I'm going to leave my mooring here, close to Napton Junction, and make my way back towards Bronston. I'm going to cruise along here, along here, and up off the page. <laughs> In reality, I come along here to Braunston Turn, I bear to the right, and I cruise along and moor outside Braunston Marina just here. That is the extent of today's journey. windy again at the point it was windy yesterday <laughs> and it seemed so calm before I set off. Must be something about this area here that attracts the wind. It's very open. I hope it'll stop shortly. <laughs> YouTube channel. And yet there's a third boat coming now. Oh, it's windy up there. <laughs> Just told them it was windy up there. <laughs> I'm coming up to the very wide winding hole. You'll see it this time from a different angle because I'm approaching it and I think you'll get a better idea of just how wide it is and here's another boat coming. <laughs> That's four boats in very quick succession. Oh, one behind you. Okay. Oh thanks, cheers. Just been told it's clear behind and we're just about to go under bridge 107. The 
someone that's not going to do much filming. I haven't started too well, have I? should look like bit of a, a chill. Just pop this on. It is quite windy again. <laughs> Past a lot of boats, a lot of boats. Quite surprising really. Having a busy time through this uh, section here, coming up to the uh, London Narrowboat uh, project boat now, which I passed yesterday as well. It passed me when I was mooring up. Hello again. <laughs> You're busy. You came through yesterday. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah. Just past narrowboat Spudley and the Silver Fox with the watch on board. So <laughs> that was totally unexpected. I wasn't filming at the time, so I didn't get them. I'm coming up to where I moored the other day. like another boat has got my space, although I think he's a little bit further forward than I was. Hello. I'm coming up to Bridge 100. <laughs> No parapets on this bridge, it looks quite uh, unusual in that sense. I'm thinking about stopping off in Graunston as I want to go to Tradline the shop that sells ropes and fenders and things like that because I need to replace the mooring line that snapped. I have been told by other boaters that Broxton is very busy. Whether that means boats passing through or moored up, I really don't know. But uh, I'll see when I get there. If I can't moor up, I can't moor up. I'll just carry on and go through the locks today. The weather is changing, I have to say. <laughs> It's uh, a little bit chillier than it was earlier. It's just not looking too pleasant. It 
So I'm not that far off Broadstone, probably another hour's cruising or less than that I should think by now. So we'll see when I get there. It's a boat being following me, I'm gonna let him come past. It's following me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> See how dull it is today. It was quite promising this morning. They had the sun, but uh, it's been long gone now. I've been watching that boat for some while behind me. I wasn't sure if it wanted to come past or not, but uh, I do like to let boats pass me. There's no point in having a boat that wants to go faster than you nudging up behind you. So. Uh, there's a good opportunity there to stop and let them pass. I'm just coming up to the turnover bridge, which means I'm just a very short distance from Bronxton Turn, which is just ahead of me. I can see the Horsley Ironwork bridges, which is lovely. <laughs> so it's taken me only about half an hour when I last spoke and said it would be about an hour to get to Bronxton. I couldn't have been as far away as I thought. I've still got a little way to go to get into Bronxton, but uh, I'm right on the edge now. Bridge 95, that one, just to show you both sides. A turnover bridge allowed a horse to cross from one side of the canal to the other without being unhitched. I'm coming up to a T-junction where you bear left or right. I'll be going to the right. So on my left is the North Oxford Canal. And on my right I'm sticking with the Grand Union Canal. There's a sign right in the middle here that says welcome to Bronxton. I can't see any boats on the move yet. There are certainly a lot of boats moored along here. Hello. Just passing the Boathouse pub. Taking it nice and steady through here. There are boats moored on both sides. actually have moored here, I wasn't certain about that. And there are some mooring rings there. <laughs> I hope I haven't made a mistake. So, I can see mooring space, but I'm not sure if it's permitted mooring space up near the stop house. It says long-term permit holders only. I hadn't realised that. <laughs> have to carry on then. I can see mooring up the head with bollards, but I don't know whether you're allowed to stop there. I think there's a water point there. Hello, 
trying to work out where the mooring is. But I think I've, I've should have stopped back there. I think. <laughs> Carry on for the moment. Just passing the stop house and the Gongoozler's Rest. This is where boats would have stopped to pay their tolls. This is a very well known cafe boat. up ahead which looks to be CRT sometimes outside a marina the mooring belongs to the marina but I don't think that's the case here there's another sign up ahead I'll see what that says as well but I'm gonna go in here with a few more mooring rings here I think <laughs> there's only one centre mooring ring that I can see I'm going to put my fenders up anyway Just doing the front fender. I am silly, there is of course iron co-edging. <laughs> I don't know what I'm worried about. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for now and I'll catch up with you later. As you can tell, I've put the canopy up. I'm gonna put the kettle on, make tea and have lunch. And after lunch, I'm going to go out and find Treadline and buy those new mooring lines. But I have noticed I've not coiled up this mooring line. So I need to do that. I don't like it being untidy. <laughs> This one's still quite stiff as it's the new one. It should coil fairly easily. Nearly that. I need my first mate here, don't I, to do this. Let me just leave that like that. In the distance is Gone Goozler's Rest. I just need to make something to go with it to eat. But a cup of tea is always very welcome, very welcome indeed. It's my first cup of the day having had coffee this morning. <sighs> Lovely. <laughs> I've just met some lovely viewers of the channel from Australia and it was great to meet you. Thanks for, well, thanks for passing by and noticing that I was sat here just about to have lunch. That's wonderful. I hope you enjoy the rest of your trip over here. Anyway, I've got my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, do notice that I'm ship shape in Bristol fashion now with the uh, mooring line behind me. 
Do you know where that term comes from? Uh, ship shape in Bristol fashion. Going back oh, 200 years or so, the Bristol Harbour was tidal. So any boats that were in the harbour <laughs> when the water was in were floating. But when the tide went out, they used to keel over. So I think it was in the early 1800s. I'm not sure offhand, but I think it was about that time they decided to encapsulate the harbour so that the water was there all the time and they diverted the river, the River Avon. Anyway, that's another tale, but um, the, um, the saying, all ship shape in Bristol fashion, I'm not sure if I've even said it right, but it comes from, from that period when they built the, uh, the floating, they call it the floating harbour because the boats can float there. Anyway, back to lunch Ooh. because I haven't got any cheese top rolls I haven't got any bread, so today I'm having a wrap. And my wrap has got brie in it and small chunk pickle. Branson small chunk pickle. Now there's an advert. I'm going to enjoy this very much. I'm just making my way to Trad Line to purchase the new mooring lines. I'm more just beyond the hedge line there, just beyond those little trees. So this is what I've bought. There are two new mooring lines, 10 metres each. There are some protective sleeves, like this. They protect the rope. And there's one new mooring chain. This is the Gonguzla's Rest Cafe, which is very well known. It's not open today, as we can see from this lovely old churn here. I'm just making my way back to the boat now. Sun is coming out. It's quite a nice day. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. It was lovely this morning, but uh, the weather did change. It's nice to see the sun out again. You 
Here I am back at the boat. Let's see if purchase is down. Having been told this morning that Braunston was very busy, I've not seen a lot of boat movements. There was only a couple when I moored up, and I think I've seen one since. I know I haven't been here all the time, I've been off to get my new mooring lines, but um, it's certainly not busy this afternoon. Anyway, I have my trusty cup of tea, and I have carrot cake. I put it in a dish because I've got some cream with it <laughs> and I think it's easier to eat with a spoon than a, than a fork when you've got cream. <laughs> so, so here goes. Lovely. Very nice. Sort of melts in the mouth. So tomorrow I will ascend Braunston Locks. There are six locks as you probably know. I'm about a half a mile down from the locks. So when I'm ready in the morning, probably about 10ish or so, hopefully when there are other boats about, <laughs> I will set off in the hope of sharing the locks. That's what I really need to look out for. But I don't want to wait if there's no one around. I just want to get on and pass through the locks and start making my way back. I'm not rushed to get back, but um, I will probably, well, I will more up again tomorrow. I won't be going back to the marina tomorrow, even though it's doable. I will hang around a bit longer. I'm enjoying being out on the boat. So why not? <laughs> Time for some more uh, cake, I think. Good morning. When I was talking yesterday about moving on today, I hadn't even considered what the weather was going to do. It's a bright sunny morning. There's little wind and looks lovely. But there is a severe weather warning. It's just before nine o'clock at the moment and the weather warning lasts from or starts from nine o'clock <laughs> and lasts for much of the day. <laughs> having been caught out before suddenly and also having not had a severe weather warning materialise, it really does make it difficult to know what to do for the best. The sun is out there. <laughs> there are blue skies. But there are warnings and if you look at this map you can see from the blue dot that I'm right in the centre of the warning. So what does the warning say? Well the area affected that I'm looking at is East Midlands and it starts at 9 o'clock today and ends at 7 o'clock. Heavy showers and thunderstorms are expected to develop on Wednesday and may cause some flooding and travel disruption. It then goes on to explain all the problems that might happen. A couple of boats have passed already this morning, one from the locks and one heading towards the locks. I wanted to moor up again. I'm not rushing back to the marina and I think as I'm settled here, it makes sense to stay here. It would also give me the opportunity, if the rains don't come, to walk along the towpath up towards the old pumping station and to visit the shop at Bottom Lock. There's never time to nip in there when you're passing on the boat, <laughs> not when you're by yourself anyway. So I think I've sort of decided I'll stay here. So that's that for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching. As always, look after yourselves, your friends and families 
take the utmost care in whatever you're doing. Until next time, bye for now. Bye everyone, take care. I've decided to walk up to the bottom lock and visit the shop there. Do I buy myself an ice cream? <laughs> Looks as though the working boat's long gone. <laughs>